Good afternoon, a long awaited video from me. Um, welcome back, and welcome back, me as well. So, in this video, I want to talk about motivation. Um, it's something I get asked a lot about how do you stay motivated, etc. etc. I did do a video on this a few years ago, which is down in the uh, down in my Facebook gallery. Um, <clears throat> But I forget it was time for an update because I've got things in addition to those thoughts. Still also a good video to go and watch though. Um, so please go and watch it. Motivation. What makes motivation? Love. You know, the desire to do what you want to go and do. Yeah. And what kind of discounts that? I think that's really what what really this discussion is about. Now, um, Henry Miller is an artist. I think he was an artist anyway. He once said, "Think only what's what's right there. Yeah, do only what's under your nose to do. Yeah, only what's right there." And most people can't do that. The reason they can't do that is because they've not practiced it essentially, and. This is a very interesting idea because it's about being present. It's the Yoda idea of never his mind on where he was, what he was doing. So what does that mean? If you're not in that place of what's under your nose, where you are, what you are doing, what you've become is what I call time bound. What do I mean by time bound? I mean, you, you're thinking about, oh, I've already done so many of these. That's the past. Oh, I've got to do so many more of these and that's the future and you sit there going eh, about it all and that's just a habitual thought pack yeah you've got in the habit of thinking about what you've done and what you've got to do and you've listened to other people moan on the internet internet about what they've done and what you've got to do all right and it's absolutely distracting you from the fact that right now you've got a model of paint probably just one bit on one model it's probably a really small bit and it's probably really easy yeah and you could break that down right right down into all you really ever have to do at any point is paint one line you can't make paint more than one line at a time you could try and go in two hands to be a to be a smart ass about it but you know all you're doing there is being a smart so yeah you've become time bound yeah now, the thing is, is you become time bound about ideas that you think are real and that you think are true and that you think are facts and you think you deserve to have a moan about it and blah, 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 blah. But you don't get that way about things you've done 10 billion times more than that. Why not? Because you've made them unconscious habits. Yeah, you've made them unconscious habits. So let, let's take one, for example, in painting. Nobody ever says, oh, I get bored of doing this on a model. I've, I've done it so many times now, Th this action on a model, and I've got to do it so many more times, like, I I'm sick of it, I, I want to do it a different way. <laughs> you know, it's called the brush stroke. Nobody ever says, oh, I get sick of that. Doesn't matter what colour you've got on it, doesn't matter that you've done 100 ultramarines already. It doesn't matter. You've got some idea in your head that you just want to get all agitated about. Yeah, when really, it doesn't matter what colour you've got on your brush, what kind of brush stroke you're doing, right there and then you've got an opportunity. You've got an opportunity to make it a damn good brush stroke. A damn good brush stroke. Alright? Yeah, you've got an opportunity to look at yourself instead of your project and go, do you know, how can I do this better? How can I do it maybe faster? How can I do it more economical? How can I get a higher quality out of it? When I did it last time, time bound, what did I do wrong and how can I improve it now? The time now is the one that matters. All this done and got to do doesn't really matter. It's just some kind of mad fantasy in your head. All right. So is what to do. If you ever think, oh, I'm not motivated. I'm not motivated. Ask yourself, have I become time bound? 
and then just sit in that feeling for a bit go yeah become time bound and then ask yourself the question well, what could I do now and how good would it feel to do it just slightly better than I did it last time and then just sit in that feeling for a minute and then just go do you know what the only thing I can ever do is one brush stroke so here's my challenge to you when you are feeling unmotivated my challenge to you is paint one brush stroke just one and then post in the comments what happens after you paint that one brush stroke and it's a small amount to ask of yourself it's a small amount for me to ask of you just one brush stroke no matter what your project is paint one brush stroke and then see what happens and every time remember that feeling report back here with how you felt what happened after that brush stroke and I'm going to leave you now with, uh, with this quote from Henry Miller, if I can find it. Let's find it. Have a good night. Hit me up for lessons. Cultivate and practice your motivation. And let me know in the comments. See you guys later. The idea is, you know, you live from moment to moment. So in doing that, the, this moment decides the next step. You shouldn't be five steps ahead. Only the very next one. And if you can keep to that, you're always all right. See, but people are thinking too far ahead and sidelines and all that. Do you know what I mean? Think only what's right there. Do only what's right under your nose to do, huh? You know? It's such a simple thing that people can't do it, you know?